Remote service is the ability to remotely manage content, playlist, and screen settings. This service allows users to set up single or multiple screen networks and manage all screens simultaneously without having to visit the location or manage each screen individually. Registration of license key and a valid subscription is required to use this service. This service is available by registering and logging in under the Remote Services section. Adding content for display is easy and can be set up for display in single or split screen formats with or without scrolling banner feed. It is recommended to temporarily suspend screen updating while adding content to prevent incomplete information from being displayed on any screen. Each content or campaign is referred to by a name that you provide at the setup stage. Next, we select a display layout. Click on add new content to complete the setup. This takes us to the next page which is set to individual sections of the layout. To start Section A, we scroll down and click on the button Setup Section A. Here we have options of setting up Section A with either a template, base content or custom content that could be either a picture or video or a web page. We select the template option and click on Setup Section A. We now select the template by clicking on the Change Template Style Color. You have an option of selecting from over 150 templates available in multiple styles and colors. We're looking for the personal care template. We are presented with screenshots of the colors available and select the pink template. The template is now ready to be customized and meet personal requirements. We scroll down and add a logo for this template. Next, we add a picture of this template. We now add text to complete the customization.
as we can see here the content for section A is ready. Next we click on the view content tab to go back to the entire screen. We now click on the setup section B button to set it up. For this section we will set it for custom content. We are uploading a picture that goes with the ad. As we can see here the content for section B is also done. Let's see what the entire ad looks like. There we go. So that's how simple it was creating an ad and adding to the library. This ad is now ready to be added to the playlist and schedule for display. Click on the add to playlist to schedule content for display. Adding content to playlist allows you to schedule content based on your display preferences which include display sequence position, start and end date, hour and days of week and duration of display. We have options of setting content for display on all screens by clicking on the add to all locations button or select screens by add to select locations button. The content has now been added to location and it's ready for display. You can either edit or delete your screen playlist at any time by clicking on the manage playlist link. Edit or delete. Once you've added to the playlist, remember and resume remote services so that the content can be distributed to all screens. The Manage Display Screen Locations allows us to manage each screen individually. This section contains information about the locations such as contact information, remote update frequency, whether the banner should display or not, set initial start page, working days of week and hours of day. It is possible to set each day of the week with individual working hours. This setting controls the ability of the software to turn the display screen on or off depending on the day's working hours. In some instances, users may wish to set shorter working hours or weekends depending on the rest of the week. Turning off the screen during non-working hours not only saves electricity costs but also extends screen life. Each individual screen setting can be updated at any time and will be updated on the display screen as soon as it receives periodic updates.